Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Subpixel live stream. You can probably tell things are a little bit different. We're doing something a bit extraordinary today. Yes, I'm going to take credit. You know who deserves no credit at all? Uh, Will Crosby, are you out there? I'm here, you jerk. Will, I, do you know what I have done? Uh, you have... Um, you know, I can't even think of something. It's just sorry. <laughs> People don't understand. I can see Ian live video feed right now, and this yeah. never happens. And it's really creepy. <laughs> so I'm I not wish, into it. I wish I had a, a fourth, a third camera to show you what I've done. I was going to post a picture. I started set up an hour ago. I just barely got it in time. But basically, we're going to be playing F1 2018 today. I have a racing wheel. I have pedals underneath my desk. And you lucky ladies at home, as well as you lucky gentlemen, Will Crosby, are going to be seeing... Oh, are going to be seeing this view. Uh, put some socks on, at least. Uh, it's too late. I ran out of time. Oh. oh, boy. Hi, Mom. Hi, Alex. I'm very excited for this. Are you excited for this, Will? No, not anymore. Not anymore. I bet Quentin Tarantino would be excited by this. I Okay, I need people at home to let me know that audio levels are okay and that everything's looking good because I just threw this together. The mic was the last thing I put together, so if I need to move it closer, just let me know. Um, um, quick question from the chat here. What does the 1 stand for in Formula 1? It's Okay, so Formula refers to the regulations so essentially formula one is the highest series of racing regulations for that specific racing motorsport so there's f2 and f3 excuse me there's f2 and f3 <laughs> <laughs> i'm getting too excited i'm literally getting too excited and i'm getting like excitement hiccups um so formula two and four or three are kind of like minor league baseball um but formula one basically just means it is the high <laughs> Damn you, Alex. The one second I, I look over, the one second I look over to check the chat and it says, Will's a toe sucker. <laughs> I don't like feet. Uh, let's just put this out here. I don't like feet in any sort of capacity. Uh, I really was going to, I was going to ask you, or mentally shoes, or sexually. Yeah. I was going to ask you shoes or no shoes, but I ran out of time. So you're getting toesies. One um, of my former coworkers told me, uh, a boyfriend of ex ex of her licked frosting off her toes, oh my God. and I almost threw up. Um, so ever since then, very wait, anti feet. You know what? Let me go through the teams real quick. Okay, we have Mercedes, Ferrari, um, Ast Aston Martin, Red Bull Racing. <gasps> Red Bull. I love Red Bull. Uh, Force India, uh, Williams, Renault, Red Bull Toro Rosso. Which Whoa, is their Red Bull getting a couple shares? Yeah, it's like their B team. Uh, Haas F1. This is the only American team currently in the sport. McLaren, Alfa Romeo, uh, back to Mercedes. So you're thinking this right here? No, I'm thinking India. Force, yeah, Force India is great. Okay, we have Sergio Perez out of Mexico, and we have Esteban Very, Ocon out of yeah. France. These are some great Indian names. <laughs> <laughs> They actually um, they had to sell their team and change their name in the middle of last season because uh, their main team owner is being extradited to India for fraud related to an airline he used to own. Nice. Yep, good stuff. Uh, let's do Esteban. I like that Esteban. name. He's good. He's not in the sport this year. He got kind of pushed out because of some driver deals, but uh, uh, quick he's update. a good guy. Mom does not like the naked feet. <laughs> Do you think uh, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to go put Ogod shoes on. uncensored feet, and then shoes would have been nice, but okay. I, it's oh, just, is... uh, I know. Yeah, it's a Haas hat. You see that? This Ooh. might be the first time I've seen your feet. Oh. I don't know if I saw them when I was stay, staying over. All right. Which track are you thinking? Uh, the one that looked like a phallus. Oh. This one? Yes. I think that was it. I mean, there might have been another phallic-like one. There's Bahrain. Uh, let's just always, go to... Uh, ooh, let's do Monaco, actually. That sounds really Oh, weird. no, I'm not doing Monaco. Fuck Monaco. Oh, there's my one F word. <laughs> but I want to I wanna reenact Iron Man 2. Actually, you know what? We'll do Monaco, and um, I don't know what the Monaco flag looks like. It's right there. I guess it's just red and white. 
Uh, let's uh, do Monaco. I'm gonna eat some pickles. It's gonna be my um, kind of my. I haven't played this game in a while, so it's going to be my test track in a way. Qualifying, one shot qualifying, race distance. Yep. Yeah, could you chew louder, please? Thank you. I'm doing pickle ASMR. Gameplay flashbacks on vehicle damage full reduced. Let's do uh, full. Fun fact: these are pickles that I have made. Hey, they're very spicy. Uh, Maggie makes a lot of pickles. Really? Okay. Braking assist. No. Anti lock brakes. No. Traction control. E e medium. Full. Automatic. Uh, my mom pistons. took away our PG rating. <gasps> oh my god. How dare you? Okay, all right, I'm gonna make this clear. Man, Alexander really likes toes. He's like overcompensating that I like toes, which makes me <laughs> think he really likes I like toes. Um, so Where's I Zach? have not played this oh, he's game. In Detroit. Zach Zach's is? Zach's in Detroit, so. Uh, Why? Uh, I think he wanted to get mugged. Oh. No, I, th I think, uh, is it van related, Alexander? So, I'm going to tell you why I don't like Monaco. It's actually very bad in modern F1. Last year, uh, Danny Ricardo, Red Bull racing driver, was leading the Monaco race, and then he had engine issues, so he was at like 75% power, but because of how tight the track is and how wide the cars is, the cars are, <laughs> <laughs> nobody could pass him. So literally, he was slower than probably the four people behind him. But they could not pass him. They physically could not pass him on the track. But how wide is the cars? The the cars is wide. I'll, I'll let oh. you know. I've always wanted to try driving a Formula One car. I don't. But I know I could ever. No, no, no. Like yeah. a fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could never do it because in order to oh, be geez. good in any sense of driving it, you have to go like a million miles an hour. Uh, there's no game on. Oh, yep. Let's see if I. Yep. First flashback. Yeah, they are insane, and they have no traction control, no anti-lock brakes or anything <laughs> like that. Hey, God bless you. Um, is this supposed to be no in-game sound? Yeah, are you not getting any in-game sound, or is it just low? Uh, I don't know. I thought I could hear it before. Uh, I'm going to put these pickles away. I've had two. All right, I'm raising the in-game sound. There's also no in-game sound for the stream, I just noticed, because I didn't turn it on. Okay, folks, this should be better for you. Actually, let me um, get the chat back up. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Um... <gasps> oh, now I can hear it. Uh, What's going on? Where's my... Side note, I'm not full screen anymore. Okay, I'll take care of that in a little bit. Let me just get through this. Yeah, that's corner. fine. No worries. the heck? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, folks. Uh, full screen. 1050. There we go. Ooh, baby, yeah. Baby. Mom, I 100% agree. Um, <clears throat> people who say racing isn't a sport don't quite understand the amount of like mental and physical strength you have to have. How do I? Yeah, but it's not a real sport. Wow, Will. I'm just kidding. Racing is a sport. Racing is actually... I'm probably wrong, but I feel like racing is one of those things I would be really good at if mm -hmm. I could ever actually do it. I'm just trying to figure out how to accept this flashback. It's the same with, like, I think I'd be really good at spending massive amounts of money. Oh, no. But I just never get the opportunity to do it. Well, I've completely forgotten the button to do this. So oh. you're saying you're you inadequately prepared for the stream? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I spent an hour on setup. There we go. Okay, here it is. Sorry, I'm just figuring out how to exit this flashback. Oh, my pedals aren't plugged in. That's the issue. 
I literally never plugged in my pedals. Literally. Okay, we're, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. I promise. I think that'd be good. I'm just trying to figure out what I should be doing during this stream. Um, I'm just going to play some Divinity. Tell me what you know about uh, racing. Um, I know that uh, Ken Griffey Jr. is dead. The, is that he's dead? That's the right sport. Uh, that's NASCAR. Racing's NASCAR. Is that oh. insulting? Are you okay? Um, Are NASCAR and like, racing, racing, racing different? Yeah, it's racing, right? I'm sorry. I know. What? I know NASCAR and Formula One are not the same. Are are not, not different? No, they're not the same. Yeah, they're not the same. Okay, yeah, I didn't so mean to insinuate they were the same. Do you want me to give you? Race. Do you want to give me a quick primer on the difference? Uh, no, I don't. You asked me what racing was, and I was telling you. Oh, okay. No, it's fine. You just interrupt me. You're like you don't even need me here. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Alexander, uh, the pickles are delicious. They're super spicy and not. I didn't put enough dill in. I don't oh. think. But they're man, they're so good. They're so crunchy too. I have another batch of full, uh, full size ones going right now. Uh, anyways, racing. Um, all I know is I really want one of those steering wheels. That I have. No, the one in the game. Oh yeah, they're pretty bonkers. They they cool. sell them like old ones for like a thousand bucks every now and then. It's like an Ooh, auction. Really? I would totally yeah. buy one of those. What Plus, was that little turn there? That was dumb. That's the chicane at the end of the tunnel. See, this is why Man, Monaco stinks. It's a very punishing track, but it also doesn't promote much racing because it's very difficult to overtake. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, uh, can't does, send you any pickle milk there. They would spoil. Does the J word count? Bad. Are you all right? Let me know. I think the J word's fine. For swearing? Yeah. What's the J word? Jesus. Oh. Yeah, you can say that. Hey, what's going on in chat, by the way? I can't see anything. Um, I've been, like, watching it. Alexander wants me to send him pickles. Yeah. Um, are, you know, do you like dill pickles? Yeah, but Maggie makes them all the time, and they're better than yours, probably, so. Wow. So never mind. Um, Oops. Mom Oops. said, despite the raw feet footage, it would it be the raw foot footage? No, I think it's footage. raw feet because there's two of them. I like the concept of the setup for streams quite a bit. <laughs> so wait, if we were playing something else, do you just want a feet cam? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> or do you mean the top one? <laughs> um, just a little more polishing to hide up the wires, and this would be really cool. Oh, behind my desk? Um, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, Mom. I will never clean those wires up. So that is just too much effort. <laughs> you know what I could do is I could probably just put like a piece of paper between That's the pedals and the wires. Yeah. Um, Alexander says Jew, and I'm assuming he's referring to the J word. Oh, okay. Uh, Alexander's not the J word. Got it. Uh, that's my nickname for Karen. Also, I'm quitting Monaco. Zing. I don't like Monaco no more. Uh, for those uninitiated, my girlfriend is Jewish. Hi. She's great. Why did you say hi? She's not here. I'm just, she's going to watch this later. Does she watch the reruns? No, she's one of those unsupported people. No, she's very supportive of Subpixel, but she doesn't watch the content. All right, I'm quitting out of this. I don't like Monaco. It's it's like a very historic racetrack, probably the most historic on the calendar, but it's just not good for modern racing. Okay, how about we do... Um, it smells like farts in my room, and I don't know if it's coming from the bathroom down the hall or I farted. How about we do Canada? Um, this is the race that I went to last year, and it was pretty great. Ian, I want to go to a Formula One race with you. Wow. I want to go to a Formula One race with you. Guess where the and one in Canada. Canada. Guess where the Canadian Grand Prix is. Uh, Toronto, Montreal. Yep, Montreal. It's, it's pretty great. Yeah, I wonder how I knew that. Tickets are expensive, but you can uh, definitely come with. Karen we is at her house, Alexander. We, uh, we drove up to it last year. It was pretty great. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. That was when we didn't know each other very well. Yeah, it's awesome. When did we meet? August? It July was PAX. Of, uh... It was PAX. Oh, you no, mean in general? In general. 
Ooh. Our first video was the uh, freaking, uh, what was the name of that game? Absolver? Absolver, that's right. I actually beat that game. I did too. I think you did too, because I remember Where we talked about you just get to the game. end game part? Yeah. Yeah, I, I did too. I like cheesed a couple of those fights so hard. There was, there was, I kept having to look up boss positions because I couldn't find them. Yeah. Um, but anyways, this is a really cool racetrack. It's on an island in the middle of the river that runs by the eastern side of the city. Ooh. Um, you see this part right here? Oh, yes. no wait, They moved it. They just had... Okay, so you see where it says the first turn. I'm pointing at the screen like you can see my finger. Down in the bottom right section is where we were seating. It was pretty great. Number what? Number turn one complex. Okay, I think I saw that. This is the hairpin. It's it's just a great track. It's pretty cool. Okay. Ian, we should go go karting. Oh my goodness. There, you ever heard of Autobahn? No. It's like they do like high performance electric go karts. <gasps> we should do that. Uh, Alexander and I have been to, and Zach have been to K1 a couple times. That's, uh, That's really fun. Like high performance electric. Same yeah. thing. It's indoor. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be down for that. That'd be a good uh, subpixel uh, side quest. Ooh, that's a good name. Subpixel side quest? That is a good name. Yeah. Oh, geez. Okay, all right. So you come down here. Those bleachers on the left, that's where we were. Okay. Yeah, right there, right ahead. Oh, it that's was awesome. great. Did oh. you, like, cheer and, like, fangirl? Oh, yeah. It was crazy. Did that say 2019? Because the first lap, everybody came through here. They were fine until they got to this section up here, coming around this turn. Wait, what did you? Somebody put somebody did in a wall. See? Were there cameras where you could see them still? Yeah, there's a big screen right next to oh, our okay. bleacher that just shows the live race feed. Um, Alexander has said, uh, sorry, let's catch back up here. Mom said, well, a piece of paper or some sort of thing to block the wires from view would be enough. Yeah. Okay, good. Mom, we'll work on that. Going to be honest uh, with you, Alexander Mom, has said, I love you, Mom, but that's as much effort as I'm going to put into it because I hate tidying uh, up wires. I, I like it when I have the time to. Like, if I, we set I up don't. a studio from scratch, yeah. Yeah. like, and we started... Like, I hate coming into a situation and then cleaning up wires, but mm -hmm. from the get-go, I'm okay with it. Oh, God. It's like the inside of my PC is disgusting. <laughs> oh, my God. Every Did time you I see make, that pass? Oh, don't touch incredible. me, signs. Um, every time I build someone's new computer, I'm, like, making sure their wires are perfect. Anyways, Alexander said, what's expensive? I think you said going to this race was expensive. The and tickets. then St. Lawrence yeah. River. Um, is that the river? Uh, yeah, I believe so. To the east of... Okay. That sounds about Perfect. right. We are all caught up with chat. Um, what's our sponsor tonight, uh, Ian? Uh, H2O. Our sponsor is H2O. My sponsor is this blueberry moonshine and ginger beer. I did, weren't you that drinking that earlier, good. or was that a different one? That was uh, strawberry moonshine. Oh, uh, okay. Back. Okay, that makes sense. But I've discovered ginger beer as an adult, and I very much enjoy it. So, Mom, I'm curious, since you like the stream setup, what are some other racing games you want me to try with this? Yeah, I'm also curious, did Mom mean the camera angle? Because I really am digging this camera angle. I think Instead it's a lot just... better than the face on. Yeah, the only thing is it's... Oh, my God. Oh, Alexander said he means how much is expensive. Oh, yeah. So, the tickets at Turn 1 Bleacher Complex, we paid... 350 per person. Um, oh, okay, that's not as bad as I thought you were going to say. No, the cheapest bleacher seats are... Our seats were bleachers as well, but the cheapest bleacher seats on the track are about 150 per person. Gotcha. Um, that does get you three days' worth of tickets, but we only went two days because um, there's, like, practice sessions and qualifying. Um, the most expensive tickets are, like, $15,000, and they oh, let yeah. you, like, go into the pit and meet some people and do some cool stuff um the the ticket side of the company i work for i was talking to my boss a while back and he said the freaking um tennis tickets for like the u.s open yeah and all that they like easily funds the rest of the year for the company like like one ticket is like eleven thousand dollars 
Whoa, that's bonkers. And he, and he said some tickets for like the final four, which I'm informed isn't Pokemon, but March Madness oh, is like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 15,000 a seat. Dang, that is just, that's too much. You know? Can you imagine? Ooh. Oh, God, this looks good. Also, to go see basketball? Basketball? Oh. Okay, I don't like basketball. I'm bad at playing it. I haven't really cared about watching it, but I did go see a playoff game with the Cavs versus the Toronto something, Toronto Raptors, I think, <laughs> which now that I think about it is really weird that you have a basketball team named after dinosaurs. Um, yeah. And it's actually really exciting to watch in person. They do a good oh, job yeah, of keeping it dynamic. Like, as much as I like to be like the anti-sports nerd, yeah. Um, like I hate that stigma a lot. I think we've discussed that before. Like I hate the sports ball like nerd stuff. Yeah. It's really annoying. But um, like I, I think the excitement of anything you're at is going to be exciting. Yes. Um, but as of like not being there, any the one sporting event I'd love to go to would be like a hockey match because um, I like watching hockey. Uh, I used to watch it with a friend years ago. Oh my god, are you watching these uh, incredible passes yeah, I'm doing? Yeah, this is really cool. On the casino straight? This is, this is but with if someone like... someone gave me tickets to something, I'd be into it. So that's, this is like, just to be clear, this is with half the assist turned on. Wait, why are you not... How are you... I just did third, three laps. Oh, dude. I didn't know you had stopped, and you weren't touching the wheel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I did thought you, you were bamboozling all of us. <laughs> Did you, Mom? You okay. Just put on YouTube I'm gonna read Mom's quote out loud as I rip my headphones out. Quote: I like both the top camera angle and the idea of a foot cam for racing games. Though the feet would need some shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get you. I thought I really was gonna like have them by my side, my shoes, and then ask Will like shoes or no shoes. But I completely ran out of time. Um, so next time I will wear shoes, um, but I'm going to surprise you with which type of shoes I choose. Um, I agree with you, Mom. I do not keep up with racing games either. Um, when Ian, uh, we did that Forza Horizon 4? No, I think it was Forza Three? Motorsport 7. Are you talking no, about no, no, our no. previous employer or our current employer? Our current employer. Okay. Our current company we founded. Um, no, yes. we did, our very first stream was Forza, wasn't it? Uh, yes, it was. My audio yeah. was completely messed up. Yeah, I um, I enjoyed playing that. Um, I like playing racing games with other people. Oh, Spa Franco Shop. Okay. Um, what's some other exciting Just ones? Just Japan. Japan. Ooh, Japan's Are any a toughie. Of these good? I don't mean to like choose one you don't want to do. No, I will not play one that you want to do, other than Monaco. Because that was my good practice one. Okay, let's see. I'm going to change race distance to five laps. Yeah, so so just to show you some of the assist I have turned on, I turned on traction control medium. I have the full dynamic racing line. I feel like you just, you, you just, you kind of need that when you're playing a game because you don't get the sense of how well you're braking. Um, yeah, pit, weekly. Yeah, automatic gearbox, pit assist, and automatic ERS mode. I've played it assist? before with 90% of these turned off. And I had to flash back every single corner because, like, if you're taking a turn and you mash the accelerator, you will lose traction immediately and spin. These cars are insanely fast and very difficult to control, and this game does a fantastic job of, of portraying that. What is it? F1. I, I think I'm remembering like a Top Gear quote. Isn't it the faster you go, the better traction you have? Yes. So like the faster you make a turn, the better you can make that turn. Yes, that's correct. And that's, that's why F1 is so dangerous. Uh, yeah, yeah, because basically they're very reliant on aerodynamics for downforce. So you yeah. want to be able to take a turn very quickly because it gives you more downforce. Um, and that's why like any damage to your aerodynamics, like if you touch somebody and it messes up your front wing a little bit, it like blows your chances at winning the race because now your front wing isn't going to be providing as much downforce. Okay. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Are you still there, by the way? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. It's just that's the tweet. first time you've shut up, so. No. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is a. It's a lot of fun. I. I mean, most people probably wouldn't find this that interesting if they're not into the sport. But this, 
when it came out just struck me as a fantastic representation of the sport in terms of a simulation of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, this, this watching you do this just makes me want to go play um, Forza. Which, uh, speaking of a Microsoft oh. property, um, yeah, they announced uh, Halo Master Chief Collection today for uh, Steam and Microsoft Store on PC. I saw that, but it was really weird because it's not coming out until like fall. Yeah, and it's coming out in chunks. It just kind of weird. And they're re they're uh, releasing Reach finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just kind of weirded Which me I'm out actually excited about that. that they would do that announcement at their weird little weekly or bi-weekly announcement thing that nobody really watches. Yeah. And it's not even like it's coming out now, so they want to shadow drop it. Yeah. But it's exciting. That's the first time Halo will ever come to... Uh, or all the oh, Halo. I was about to say. <laughs> oh, no. But it actually got me thinking about um, some of the guys we've talked to for... Uh, documentaries like I, I want to see what communities sprout up now for the all the Halo games that are suddenly on PC and somewhat malleable. Yeah, and because they're on Steam and they're not, they're probably not well, unless it launches the Microsoft Store. It's, it's on the Microsoft Store and, uh, Steam, and Steam, but I believe you have to log in through an yeah. Xbox Live so account. I'm going to be honest with you, it's probably not malleable at all. Yeah. But, Kay. dude, can I just say, the stuff Microsoft is doing right now... Fantastic. Um, I love it. Yeah, by by throwing um, Xbox Live where they can, it gets people to make an account. And that's all they have to do. And can it, you it's, hear it's crazy. Can you hear that, I like, can rubble? hear that. Yes, it is insane. I think I have is damage. Is that your steering wheel feedback? It's my steering wheel feedback. I think I have damage, so when I get up to speed, it's, it's not happy. <laughs> That was bad. Uh, Mom said you're being very savage today. I hope that's in terms of the racing. Or uh, and probably. and how I treat you. Oh, God. You treat your mother with respect, please. No, I mean how I treat you. My brother. Oh, how you treat me. I'm not your brother. I'm your stepbrother. What? Step I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we agreed not to talk about that. So... I'm excited. Friday, I have some free time so I can start editing stuff. For this. I have about five hours into the PlayStation Classic edit, and that puts me at about two minutes of usable footage. <laughs> it took so yeah, long like, to get everything set up. I'm like oh. an hour into the behind the scenes of our doc shoot. Yeah, and I have that first like 15 seconds <laughs> because I tried to get that music and I okay this is a dilemma um, that nobody on the stream cares about but that music I downloaded is uh, free on that uh, website we like to use to get free music yeah I mean shout uh, it out fully man. licensed music uh, free is it free music archive yes yeah. Uh, I, I didn't say it because I couldn't remember if that was the right URL so freemusicarchive.com found this great song and so i went to their website to just make sure it was still available and um it has a whole thing about if you're making money off of it it's not free oh if you didn't not, do a public domain search no you gotta take not, that song out costs, buddy no 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 so it's free as long as we don't monetize it which we're not currently monetized as a youtube channel um yeah but that's also true. the song was only 40 dollars, so i think i'm just gonna buy it I, I, so I always make sure when I go on those websites, the first thing I do is do the Creative Commons Zero public domain filter because I just don't want to pay for anything and I don't want to hear something that's really good and then be tempted yeah, to buy was, it. that was my mistake. Yeah. I thought I had done that, um, but I did not. Anyways, it's a great song and I like it, so I, I wouldn't mind the rights to it. But as of right now, we don't have to do anything because we don't currently monetize those videos. Oh, look at this. I'm reeling them in. That Jesus, was really I good. say that and then I go on the grass. Oh, thank goodness Jay's not a curse word for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alexander, I'm I gotta buy you Xbox Live. So listen, they had a three month deal. It was three months for twenty four dollars, and it came with an extra three months. So if you want that, uh, type hell's yes, will I love you in the uh, chat, oh. or just say okay. Are you seeing what I'm doing? 
I'm reeling in Max for stopping. The young hot shot for with stopping sassy for attitude. no one, Ian. So you want to hear a story that happened last season? I think you'll actually find this interesting. You should pull out a gun and just shoot his tires. So Max Verstappen was leading the race. And Ocon, who I'm currently driving as, was lapped. And he tried to unlap himself by passing Verstappen because Verstappen was going slow. Verstappen wouldn't let him. And they crashed. And Verstappen spun out and dropped from first down to, like, fifth place. And he was so pissed that at the end of the race, he went up to Ocon and started shoving him and just like almost punched him it was Jeez. insane yeah he got like a three he got like a big fine and like a like mandatory community service type of thing but it was it was insane like just watching that happen live after the race it was like what is going on Jeez, that's crazy okay. Okay. yeah you don't care i don't care either i don't no, care that you don't care Um, what else is new in the world? It's getting um, warmer out. I need to play Halo ODST. Yeah, you do. It's a good game. You should wait for me. Can we play that co-op? Heck yeah, we can play that co-op. See, that's why we shouldn't be playing what we're currently playing. In the mode that we're, we're currently cur playing it. I know, I, but also we're getting through it pretty quick. Kind of? Does that count as quick? Didn't like we it, record like three hours and it, we only got three missions in? Yeah, <laughs> but it's still going pretty bad. It's not like we're, like, suffering. Will, I forgot this yeah, game makes not... me sweat profusely. Oh, 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 come here, Raikkonen. Good thing there's not a crotch cam. Finish. It's time for Raikkonen, who's a finished driver, to be finished. Oh! Oh my God, did you see that? That was incredible. That you was- You have a pointy arrow. I somehow recovered that. So you're in what, fourth now? Uh, I'm in fourth place. It's the fourth oh, lap. Pass, you know what, pass Alexander Hamilton. Oh, that was inappropriate of me. That was very inappropriate of me. Are they not allowed to hit each other? Uh, no. But it's like, if there's like a racing incident where they're just like side by side and they slightly touch wheels or it's like not one person's fault over the other, then um, they'll just kind of let it go, if that makes sense. But if one person like deliberately hits another person or even like makes a serious mistake and crashes another person, then they'll get a penalty. Um, quick question here from the chat. Um, yes. Ian, how good are you at this game without the refreshing? Oh, um, bad. Because okay. the I I love the refreshing because it lets me make mistakes and recover from them. But when I'm playing this for serious, oh, Jesus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good gift. Oh no. Oh, Jesus. So when I'm playing this for real, I only do that when it's like ending my race, either by doing serious damage to my car or like literally a crash to end my race. Um, yeah. Or if I, I try to be nice. So like if I dive bomb somebody and shove them off the track and just be like a general a-hole about it, then I rewind and I play it properly, if that makes sense. Right. Because no, I'm trying that. to treat this Wasn't mostly it, uh... like a simulation. Forza Horizon 7, or not Horizon, uh, 7 was like all about like the etiquette of racing and oh. like not passing people unless yeah. they're ready for you to pass them. Oh no, oh no, who is that? I think it's Hamilton. No, it's Ray Raikkonen. Raikkonen? Yeah. He's finished, he's an old guy. He used to, he did like three races for NASCAR trucks and he was terrible at it. Oh, oh no, Hamilton! Hamilton. What a jerk. Alexander Hamilton. No, I think I have damage, so I'm going slow. Oh, uh, oh, what, what can I, oh I can't see if you have any damage. Oh, it pops up when I take it. Yeah, I know it pops up. Oh, God. I'm... Oh. You're doing good, Ian. Man, you're nowhere near second, though. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. I have DRS, don't I? How does the feedback work on that? Uh... Shit, shit. It's good. It's good. You can feel pretty well 
like when you're losing traction. Yep, let me just rewind there. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel like really well when you're losing traction. Um, if that makes sense. Gotcha. It does make sense. Traction See? is a thing I can comprehend. Oh, God. Oh, God, that turn right there is just brutal. Brutal turn. Suzuka, which is yeah, the, the Japan track we're on right now, is very, very difficult. Yeah. A lot of back and forth S curves. I'm eating a piece of chocolate. Ooh, maybe here we go. I think I think this is podium. Yes. Brilliant, brilliant oh. job, mate. That's a fantastic podium. Brilliant. Super driving, really strong pace. Mm. Very, very happy. Mm. So I'm trying to think of other racing games. I do have Wreckfest. Have you heard of that, Will? Yeah, I like Wreckfest. Um. Uh, I also have GT Sport, Gran Turismo Sport, which is actually really good. It just feels like a whole lot better than Forza. Yeah. Look, that's me on the right. Mom says when uh, she hears, he hears, Forza Horizon, my brain thinks Forza Horizon Zero done. <laughs> I do the exact same thing. I'm going to be on that racing with the... game on high tech, di high tech dinos. Yeah, I was pretty disappointed with Forza Horizon 4. That racing yeah. just doesn't feel good. And I think it's just Forza racing in general. Mm. All right, let's Ooh. see. Um, you hit your mic. I did? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, these are just events. Let me see. I'm just trying to see what we have in here. You're allowed to do that. Bahrain. There are just no active events. Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's do, let's go in an old car. Classic F1 cars. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, baby. That's pretty. That's, that's pretty hot. <gasps> I think that's Senna's car. Okay, these are pretty cool looking. They have these newer Red Bulls. Yeah, that's the one Vettel kept winning in. Let's go with this old one. Do that one. And let's go to um, one of my favorite is Monza in Italy. What'd you call me? Monza. What'd you call me? Monza. It's good. Yeah, let's do some Monza. Assist, weather, time of day, clear. Monza's good. It's, it's a, like a fast track. It's uh, I'll show you this one section. It used to have very high. You've probably seen it on Grand Tour, where it has a 30 degree banked section that is no longer oh, part of the racetrack. Yeah. yeah, that's Monza. It's crazy. I need to catch up on Grand Tour. I only watched the first season. Yeah, I think I don't even think I finished the first season. I think I'm a couple episodes. I short. started season two and it was in Manhattan and I was like, oh, I'll watch this with Karen. <clears throat> I've not done that yet. We're almost done watching Game of Thrones. For the new season. Um, Maggie and I have both like come to the conclusion that we need to actually finish watching that, even though neither of us really like it. <laughs> and we've what, only Game watched of Thrones. Like, yeah, we've only watched like two or three seasons each. Ooh. I binged it. Uh, oh God. While I was unemployed. Uh, wow, they uh, really Jesus you there. Yes, they did. Um, I watched it all seven seasons when I was unemployed. And after I finished, someone's like, you know, the eighth season is not coming out for two years. And I was like, <laughs> what? So why did I binge that? Um, we've been rewatching it since November. Do you like it? I, I like Game of Thrones. I'm into it. I don't think it's like some perfect world ending show. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's good. Okay. I like it. 
Um, it makes me really want to play Dungeons and Dragons oh. again. God, this this car is tough to control. We should play D and D, not for some I, reason, just for fun. I love D and D so much. I so I used to play in a regular group, and I still miss it. Oh, such a good game. Oh, those tricky corners right there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, you can get past Clark. God, this car does not. Oh my goodness. So I come out of the turns, and if I put just a bit too much power down, it does not want to stay straight. Um, do you have to use the clutch at all or no? No. Even even in, um, I mean, I probably would have to in this historical car if I had manual transmission turn on, but the modern ones have clutchless transmissions. So they're just paddle oh, shifting away. Yeah, they're, they're, they're literally driving too fast to, to use a clutch. Really? Yeah, their hands and their feet can't move fast enough. Well, I guess mostly the feet, but at the same time, like, yeah, and they do they do two foot driving because they just have to. Mom says she loves to play. I, I keep saying she because I keep saying mom. I think that's. I know it's a he. Okay, I was just putting that out there. I do know it's a he. I mean, I'm assuming since it was Colton. Wait, are you the Colton that did that HTML class that I did? Anyways, um, I love making ridiculous characters to play in D&D. I agree. Um, yeah, I miss... The one thing I miss about D&D is, like, spending hours writing, like, the next week's session. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like I really like... Planning it out. Really yeah. Old, planning it out. Did you, DM, did you DM for your group? What are you doing, Kaufman? Um, I DM'd a lot before the group I joined, and then my, my uh, buddy DM'd the group I was part of, which was nice because I had never I had never played a character before. I'd always yeah. only DM'd. So uh, I played a wizard, gnome wizard named Kelzor. I think right now I'm like half and half in terms of would I rather DM or be a player? I think the problem I have with being a DM is I immediately sink way too much time into it. Yeah, I do that too. I also get like those perfect moments in my head and then it never plays out that way. Yeah. And then you, you kind of like start to accidentally retaliate against your players because they're not following your plan in a way. I do yeah. that. But I've learned to uh, like, like those one page RPGs <laughs> makes me appreciate the randomness of the players a lot better. Yeah. Um, like, I think that part of someone that rebels is the fact that they spent hours working on a single Did part. that asshole... That was... What was that? He Did just he hit you? I think he nudged me in the rear. I thought your tire caught on something, but it clearly wasn't. No, I, yeah, I think it was... I think it was him coming up on me. That was rude. Um, I'm sorry, what were you saying about one-pagers? No, I meant the, the one-page we play, it takes no... There's no prior uh, yeah. work to be done. So when we go off the rails, it's funny and we all enjoy it. But I understand that a DM gets upset when their players go off the rails because they spent all this time looking at one thing. Yeah. But that's that's the issue is I, I, I think the DMs, or at least a lot I've met, and that you hear those troubles from, over-prepare for one scenario when you shouldn't. Like, you should always have an outline of your campaign and be like, listen, these are the five things that can happen. Yeah. And these are the five ways these things could go wrong if they choose something. Um, what I'm saying is, Ian, I would like to DM a uh, group. I'm in. Let's start playing. I can host. Oh, God. Actually, Karen and I are looking at apartments, so we'll just move into your uh, yeah, that works. complex. Um, although I did, so to your point, I agree, but... I did um, read something very good recently on Twitter. I read something very good on Twitter recently. Um, and it was a person basically saying, stop complaining about railroading. Your DM has put countless effort into making something perfectly tailored story and put all this effort into it. And you complaining that he wants you to play that. Oh, yeah. Is, be, is obnoxious. And I'm like, yeah, that, I think that's a good counterpoint, which is basically like, you have created a story for us as opposed to random content. So let's, you know, buy into that and go along with it. 
No, yeah, I completely agree. I, I, I mean, in the case that it's something the DM didn't think about that happened. Yes, yeah, that's true. Um, but if, if the player's, like, actively not doing it, then that's totally on the player. Being the yeah, DM. and I think the other thing is that session to session, you've got to be ready to... You've got to be very dynamic. Yeah. If that makes and the sense. Other, I remember the other great piece of advice, because I always used to foul this, is as the DM, never tell your players what they missed. Yeah, yeah. Um, because as much as you want to and be like, huh, it's funny you guys did this when I had this planned... A, you can use that again some other time, and B, it makes them feel like they missed out. Yeah. And you don't yeah. want them to feel that way. Definitely. And it's That's also like easy. if a game developer was like, oh, look at all these levels we didn't finish. Yeah. And it's also very easy if you have an encounter planned to just, you had it set up for one storyline, just move it to the other storyline. You know what I mean? Right. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I think one, one of my favorite. Here. I feel like one of the best things I did as a DM was um, the characters were trying to sneak out of town and they failed a bad stealth roll, like leaving the gate. And so they got in a fight with some guards and there was one guard that they couldn't hit because he was on a wall. Like they kept missing him because he was in partial cover. And mm -hmm. he kept missing them because he was just rolling bad. <laughs> and, and I made some joke about how about how this guy's name was Gary and he's the worst guard in the entire garrison but at the same time he's the only one left alive in this fight and and they were just like damn you Gary and I thought about it and I and they ended up just like leaving the combat encounter and it was just kind of a joke and so I the next session um, they went through some encounter uh, outside of the city oh god I messed that up again um and at the end of the session, like they defeated this guy and they're going through his loot cave, etc. And they hear a knock on the door and they're like, what is that? And they open the door and it's this messenger. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, uh, I have a message for the party. And they're like, OK. And I and I physically take out a letter and I hand it to them. And this uh, <laughs> and they open it up and scrawled in it in like barely literate text is I will find you. I will kill you. Gary, and they're just like, ah! it was great. And Gary just became this like background, like incompetent nemesis for them. It was great, you know. Um, That's awesome. Do you do this where I keep going to like antique stores or even just like Hobby Lobby and just seeing these like weird little things and thinking, I want to buy that. If I played D&D &D and I was the DM, I would buy that and hand it to my players as like a relic. Yes, oh, yeah. all the time. It's I, same with I, like big oh. antique keys. Yeah, I'm big on as the DM handing your player physical items. Like I, instead of saying you found hours, a map, you know, you hand them a map. Yes, countless hours I have spent photoshopping stuff and then soaking it in tea leaves. Oh, to make it all old and crinkly. Yeah, see, I don't go that far. What are you? Why are you um, bumping me? Why are you bumping me? I have a I have a wax seal that I sealed my letters with. Um, okay. Will, I need you to forgive me real quick. Oh. Get out of here. How is he? I also, um, at my local print shop, I would get the full sized posters of the yeah. battle mats printed out. Oh, of your. See, I just bought one of those um, dry erase ones and then I would. So draw I had the dry erase ones, but I was running uh, Ravenloft. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's a beginning house and I just got it printed out. Which reminds me, this is funny this comes up, because yesterday I was trying to think of where my miniatures and my stuff are, and they're all at this acquaintance of mine's house that we play d d at, has all oh. my miniatures and oh my, my maps God. and everything. Yeah. Next time I go home, I need to go grab that stuff. Seriously, though, I'm, uh, if you want a DM, I'm more than happy to be a player in it. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to PAX so we can take our respective others yes. to... Uh, a nice D and D sesh. I think Maggie has had bad experiences with D and D in the past because she seems very apprehensive about it. I did get her and my father and my sister to play with my mother watching on, and they seem to enjoy told me about it. That. Yeah. Um, I'm just letting you know Maggie seems a little apprehensive, but I think I think we can sway her to good D and D. I think Karen can convince her. Does Karen play a lot? Uh, she's. I don't think she's ever played D&D. &D. It's good. 
I was she's on the same level, but I think she'll play it. Yeah, I think it's it's a little has she played any like role playing games before? I actually don't know. Cuz it's that's that's kind of the first obstacle in a way is getting used to that type of game. Yeah. But once you have that Come here, Kaufman. Get your ass back here. Come here, Kaufman. Is that Andy Kaufman? Is this what happened to him? Um, yes. <laughs> he went to F1 racing. He didn't fake his death. He faked a career change. Um, uh, I know. I gotta buy a webcam, Alexander. I'll do it. And then Ian sounds like we sound like one. Or Ian. What am I talking? I'm very drunk, apparently. Mm -hmm. Uh, mom says we sound like both uh, very wonderful DMs. Oh, thanks, Mom. You know, if we were rich, like Easy Allies, then we could offer a Patreon uh, tier of hosting, of you get to join a a D and D game hosted by one of us. Mom, where? What? Uh, uh, you don't have to tell us no. the city or anything. What, no. What no. No. Sorry, I was talking to Kaufman. Oh, what uh, state are you in? I just want to know if you're near any of us for our first official fan meetup with Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're going to Pax East, Mom, we can hang out. I always think of the, the story that the Funhouse guys told, where mm -hmm. they had their first fan meetup, and one of their players who's, like, on a lot of their streams was the only person who showed up. And, like... <laughs> That's okay, though. But it gave me that feeling of, like, can you imagine going back in time, and, like, I'll use Giant Bomb as an example, like, they had their first fan meetup, and you knew about it, and you were the only one to go. Like how cool that would be. That would be that, like cool. you were in at the ground floor for what they became. That's kind of like that episode so, of Frasier. Oh. Have you seen that one? Oh, when his fans meet. Yeah, there's like three of them, and they're in his apartment, and he <laughs> just has to like hang out with them. And they're insane. It's funny you mentioned Frasier. My roommate, uh, they've been watching a ton of Frasier. I good. think rewatching. I think they've both seen it. Yeah, Maggie and I binged um, it recently. Well. I watched I've seen it. all 11 seasons three times. I, I watched it when I was home. Maggie has a habit of just like letting it play in the background. <laughs> so it, it's one of those things where it's like one night we'll watch an episode from season two and then I'll come home the next day and it's on the last episode of season four. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought about uh, watching MASH. I, you know, I, I every never time watched... I watch it, I just, I don't know. Uh, Mom says he's uh, in the middle of nowhere in Montana. <gasps> Montana, Ooh, that's where cool. uh, Sam Neill's character wanted to go in uh, oh, Hunt for Red October. Montana. Montana. Um, what do you do, Mom? You're super lucky to have a job out there. I heard Lincoln, Nebraska is an up-and-coming area. You say I'm trying to get laid? Yeah. No, I'm not trying to get laid. What's going on here? Restart What's wrong? I don't know. I tried to do a flashback, but it, like, wouldn't let oh. me. Oh, God. My computer went to sleep. That's how long I hadn't touched the mouse. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what? I'm going to take that as a sign of a successful stream. So I think I'm just going to drive um, the stream out. Will, uh, how are you feeling about this, this racing set? I, I was actually really into this. I liked... Um, it's not very... I shouldn't say that. It is engaging, but like I like just watching you race and chat. Yeah, yeah. I think F1 is not the most engaging game because you basically have to be a fan of the sport to be really into it. But I uh, think the setup is good, so we just need to find... Oh, Jesus! Oh, God. Have, do you know that corner right there, real quick? Uh, no, I don't. It's called Eau Rouge. Um, oh. It's a very fast uphill right, left, right. Here, actually, you know what? I'm gonna restart the lap real quick. Uh, Mom and is you a take bar it back flat at out. a tavern. Oh wow, oh, that's, that's um, pretty cool. Mom, send me your uh, drink, uh, coolest drink you've ever made. Is that what a barback is? What do they do? They're a bartender, uh, right? Don't they go from Where's the bar? barback? I think they go from the bar to the tables. Oh. Uh, okay, well, all right. Well, I want this, this turn is coming up. Okay, so I'm on the start finish straight. This is turn one. So then coming up here is Eau Rouge and Radeon. So you're... Jesus! Man, that was a great turn, Ian. Okay, seriously, though. I, this turn is insane because you take it in the F1 car, you take it going flat out. It's crazy. 
Okay. All right, so that's turn one. And then you're coming through here. You're going flat out. You're going up. So oh, I light. do know this turn. How do I know this yeah. turn? Look, and it's uphill right, left. God. Holy crap. At like 200 I... plus miles per hour. I'm trying to think of what game I've raced this in. It's, it's a popular. This is uh, Spa Francochamps. That's the track. So that's a popular. Okay. Anyways, I'm sorry to uh, interrupt. Uh, what is mom, mom doesn't drink drinks. I'm the guy that does everything the bartenders need done. So they don't get overwhelmed when they're super busy. Awesome. Well, that's that's actually you, really cool. Yeah. That's a nice, that's a good job. I've always been like fun. interested in like restaurants seem like one of those businesses where everything is insane all the time, especially for a good business. I always I have the um not really mantra, but I think everyone should at least work a job in like the restaurant business or the retail business at least once yeah. in their life. Yeah. To I agree. understand yeah. what it's like to do that. Yeah, I've done retail at uh, Target. Yeah, retail at Whole Foods. And I was a tour guide at one point. So, that was fun. Um, so I think as we wind Anyways, this out, Will, uh, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. You can also find me everywhere else at Hunt270. Literally uh, just Google Hunt270. I think I'm the first one that pops up. Hey, that's um, pretty cool. You can find me, follow me. Oh, I thought you were done up. because it sounded like sorry, you were done. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ian, no, where I, can we, where can we this locate is, you? This is one of those downsides of like doing remote duo streaming is that we can't really get that body language down. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. I'm fully erect and you didn't even realize. Yeah, that's true. Um, you can find <laughs> me on Twitter at Think Gibson. Um, I'm usually just reposting F1 things. So if you found this stream boring, please don't follow me on Twitter. <laughs> it's It will be yeah. even more boring. Um, I tweet random crazy stuff. All right, well, I'm driving. How about you do the uh, general subpixel outro? Um, yeah, you can uh, you can find both of us at subpixel team on Twitter. Uh, yes. That's also subpixelfilms.com, which will bring you right back to this YouTube page that you're currently on. So there's really literally no point in mentioning it. Uh, feel free to uh, subscribe, uh, see what's up, or don't subscribe. Actually, we really don't care. Uh, I'm not one of those people that says like, comment, subscribe, but I literally just said it. Um, anyways, that's it. Uh, we've got some scan lines on Thursdays. We do streams Tuesday nights. I and uh, I will make a promise between. here now. I will have scan lines up this Thursday. I know I've disappointed a lot of you, in particular myself. But I actually am making progress on the edit, and I will have an episode up on Thursday. You heard that, folks. There may be a PS1 <laughs> Classic scan lines on Thursday. So will you see you on uh, Thursday for another apology stream after I miss my yeah. deadline? <laughs> More no, Apex I really Legends make it. with my brother. <laughs> yeah, which was fun. Um, it was fun. I think, I like I think they have the Battle Pass coming out soon. We may have to revisit that. Uh, soon, soon, soon. I will totally buy that Battle Pass. Yeah. So um, I'm going to end the stream, but um, I'm actually not going to end it right now because I really want to finish this lap and I don't want to have to click over and end it. Will, we should, yeah. um, on the list of budgetary spending, we should add, uh, like, what do you call that? A video producer? Somebody to handle the actual stream for us? Yes. That's a Donut good idea. Time. Ah. Uh, that's for when we have a studio, Ian. Yes. Thank you. Seriously, um, I'm going to be honest with you. Tuesday nights are a lot of fun for me now, streaming. I know there's not a lot of people watching, but that doesn't bother me at all. It's just fun hanging out with you, Will. It's fun hanging out with you, Mom, and Alex, and anybody else who joins. And uh, what am, transition to what? So you're on the big screen. Okay. Like that? Oh, wait. Which side of yours is live? Live is on the right side. Right, so I was trying to get you to do that. I hate you so much. I was having like a heartfelt moment, like streamer to viewer, and you're like, Transition. but I wanted people to Transition. see you and not your Transition. feet. Thanks for joining us. I can't <laughs> wait until next Tuesday. What are we playing next Tuesday? I don't know. We haven't actually figured it out yet. Yeah, it'll be a surprise. Please don't but say until anything then, now because then it's locked in. I know. Um, so we're going to be doing a live arcade stream at Barcade in Philly next Tuesday night. <laughs> no, no, Wait, no. I can make that. <laughs> I can make that too, but I don't want to make that. Oh, we're doing it, folks. Next Tuesday night, we'll be in Philly. God, Barcade cut it off. Stream. Cut it off.